Let's play ball. How's everyone doing today? Happy Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Man, I always get riled up after I listen to the national anthem. Uh, happy Friday to all of you. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, for those of you that may not know, we have a giveaway today. All right. We have actually a few giveaways. So hope that you stay here for that. I'm going to get a reminder before the top of the hour to make sure I don't forget. Okay. But you all remind me as well as we go along. Uh, let's see. Amazing Grandma, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, SR, how you doing? Good to see you. RM Life, good to see you. Jack, hello. Dana, let's prep. How you doing? Your average grounded player is in the house. How are you? Let me bring this over here a little bit, see if this helps some. Okay, there we go. Kevin Grip is in the house. How you doing, Kevin? Uh, Deb, how you doing? Miss Red, Jan is in the house. I see Copernicus here. I see JT and Yarn Prepper. How's everyone doing? Hope you're all doing well, ladies. Helen, happy Friday. Coffee guy is here. Squirrel is in the house. Oops, good evening to you. Aaron, uh, let's see who else do we have here. Morning Glory is here. She Wolf, no whining. Mario is in the house. My toddler stops in her tracks every time she hears the national anthem. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, good stuff right there. Uh, hello from Maine, says Patty G. How you doing, Patty? Jeffrey Linquist, how you doing, Jeffrey? Good to see you. Uh, does Victor carry the prepping fire? Not as much as his dad does, but trust me, I'm good enough for him and his family as well. So, but no, not as much as I do. And, and I can't put too much blame, you know, because uh, he understands everything, you know, uh, but uh, it took me a very long time to wake up, you know. But you would think that the uh, children of people who are actively preparing or or live an active uh, prepper life, right, I guess you can say, uh, that they would too, but I guess not always. Uh, Kevin Grips, uh, Kevin Grips been a member for 38 months straight. Thank you, Kevin, for your support. Thank you for being here. Uh, some kind of angel. This is some kind of angel's first live. So let's welcome her into our live stream. And I also forgot we're also we're gonna do a giveaway of five gravity fed filtration systems from some from Simpure. Okay. And uh, we're also going to do a giveaway that's related to the video that I the news video that I did. I believe it was last Sunday, right? And I left a comment on a pin comment on that video saying, hey, I made a huge mistake on a math answer that I gave you, a math calculation that I did. I mean, a huge mistake. And uh, I corrected it on that same comment. So I gave you the answer. And I asked you all to, if you wanted to enter the contest, I asked you to put the correct answer in a comment. And we'll pick from that. And whoever wins that is going to win a 100-watt solar panel from Opus, all right? And I saw that a lot of people took advantage of the flash sale that Opus was having yesterday, which was great. Now, they still have a sale, and uh, it's still very good prices. And some people ask me about uh, why did the Opus 1800 go out of stock? Ladies and gentlemen, people bought them out. It's a great price. However... If you are looking for an Opus 1800 in this instance, because I know at least one or two people work, because I got emails, all right, and uh, you really want the 1800, there's going to be another sale like this in about a couple of months, like towards the end of May, early June. So if you really want the 1800 and you want to wait, they are actually still making them in one facility uh, for Opus, and they're going to have some. Uh, here in about a month and a half, close to two months. So if you want to wait, you can wait. If not, you can get something else. Uh, but uh, I thought I'd put that out there. And let me put this out there as well. I'll probably put this out there on some of my videos also. For those of you that live in Alaska, I received a very detailed email from one of our community members that lives here in Alaska. And they have figured out a way to get shipment from Opus to their home in Alaska, right? Or to Alaska where they can go pick it up at a centralized location near to where they live. It seems a little complex, but if you really want to do it, you can do it and it's not expensive. I think they said it was like 25 bucks per box. So let's say you buy an Opus 2400, you're going to pay about $25 for the shipping 
uh, through a shipping company, not like UPS or FedEx or USPS, but an actual cargo company. So they sent me the instructions and what you have to do. If you want that information, send me an email. My email is in my uh, webpage, the Alaska Prepper. All right, the Alaska Prepper.com is my webpage. You just go or website. I say webpage. Just go over there. My email is all the way in the bottom. You can ch check my email. Send me an email asking for that information and I will send it to you. Okay. So there is a way for you to be able to get a cost effective way for you to be able to get an Opus solar generator shipped here to Alaska. All right. So uh, let's say hello to Soriano. How are you? Good to see you. Linda Mall. How are you doing? <clears throat> Trouble Bear Stetter, how's everything going? Good to see you. Uh, let's see. Uh, Linda Bob, how are you doing? Good to see you. All of the uh, all of the four paw creatures are doing well. Uh, here's Yolanda Vincent, all the way from California. A, good to see you. Who's your pioneer? <clears throat> okay, let's see. Uh, 103 Catherine, how are you? Good to see you. Gail Gorton, good to see you. Mr. Tony Bad Boy, <laughs> good to see you all the way from the UK. Welcome. Uh, single Dad Prepper, how you doing, brother? Good to see you, man. I remember you. You're one of our Fairbanksters. Or I think that maybe you live in North Pole. I'm not sure, but I know I met you at Costco. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you for being here. Hopefully you'll win something today. Uh, YTU, how you doing? Let's see. Kelly, how are you doing, Kelly? Maria, 1967, has a very important message, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and yes, Linda, maybe today will be your day, okay? I hope that you win one of those five, all right? All right, let's bring it down a little bit. Um, yes, Mario. Actually, yes, Mario. Mario asked, does the Opus panel, would it be compatible with my Blue Eddy? Depending on what Blue Eddy you have, I know that some of their models took an 8 millimeter. So the Opus um, 100 watt solar panel actually does have an 8 millimeter. All right. And if, if the Blue Eddy that you have doesn't have an 8 millimeter input, you can always get a splice from Amazon for like less than 10 bucks that you can actually, uh, it'll go into a female eight millimeter into whatever it is that your Blue Eddy will take. Okay, but whether it be a, a XT60 connector or an Anderson connector, it'll it'll splice into it. And they're easy to get on Amazon. So by all means, make sure that I'm, uh, if you didn't go to that video, go check it out real quick, enter your comments so that you can be entered to win because it will work. Almost any solar panel out there, I, I would say pretty much every solar panel out there. And I don't really want to say that because there may be that one company that has a totally different connector that's proprietary. I don't know, you know, because uh, I obviously haven't seen every solar panel or every solar generator that's made. Uh, but pretty much every solar panel out there, um, uh, will, you would be able to hook it up to whatever solar generator you have. All you would have to do is, is if they're not compatible right out of the box, all you got to do is just get a splice or something that splices from whatever the solar panel is that goes into the input on your solar generator. Uh, let's see. Who do we have here? Esther Grace, how you doing? Yes, Esther Grace. Ops help. I have the link in the description of this video. Ops help. It's it's a program that Opus does for folks that can't afford to buy a solar generator but need one in order to, like, let's say, for example, power a medical device that they need, that they rely on, like during a power outage. So let's say that you have an oxygen machine and you don't have a way to power it during a power outage. Well, if you cannot afford to get one for yourself, all you have to do is go to the link in the description of this live stream, this video, and pretty much every other video that I put up. And there's a link to OPS help. It doesn't cost you a penny. All you have to do is apply, fill out a, a very short questionnaire, and then they'll determine whether or not you qualify 
as far as them providing you with an open solar generator at no cost to you. And usually when they do that, they'll also throw in a solar panel, right? I'm not saying that they will guarantee throw in a solar panel all the time, but usually I see that they throw in a solar panel. So all you can do is try, all right? Nothing, nothing's going to hurt if you try. Worst that can happen is that they say no. But a lot of people from this community here have done so and have been successful and receiving help from Opus. And what Opus does is they keep 5% of their bottom line to the side and they use it to give to people that are in need. All right, so that's one good thing. Uh, let's see, June Browser, how are you doing? All the way from Cajun country. Good to see you here. Marianne Lucas. Marianne Lucas, were you here to celebrate Mr. Tom's birthday today? So you and Mr. Tom have the same birthday which is April 18th. Happy birthday to you. Happy belated birthday. And let me tell you what, this is another reason, ladies and gentlemen, why yesterday was a great day because it was Mary Ann Lucas's birthday as well. So happy birthday, Mary Ann. May the good Lord bless you with many more. That's awesome. 82. Uh, Ralph, how you doing, Ralph? Good to see you. Steve Grady is here. Kevin Cawthon, how are you doing? Thank you for being here, by the way. Full of Hope is in the house. How are you doing, Full of Hope? It's always the quiet ones, indeed. And here is Battleborn from the Silver State of Nevada. How are you doing, Battleborn? Good to see you. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I actually want to talk to you about a little something today that uh, many people, uh, many people that still have their heads in the sand uh, think that during a major crisis that the shelves are going to be full, that they're going to stay full and that they have plenty of time to go and get necessities. Uh, if you take a look at what just happened in Israel not too long ago, uh, people there started panic buying here not too long ago. I'm not talking about on October 7th when that bad stuff happened and, it, and all of this stuff took off, but I'm talking about lately. Uh, you know, when they had that scare with uh, Iran, uh, they went and, and pretty much stripped the shelves clean. And it, it kind of amazes me that uh, people in a place such as Israel and what's going on right now are still not preparing. That Because if people are panic buying, it means that they don't have the things that they need. Now, I don't know. I can't say what their logistics are over there. I don't know if because of the situation that's going on, whether they can get their products that they normally get on a regular basis, and that's maybe hindering uh, what they can stock up on. Uh, but panic buying is not the way to go. And most people would tell you that usually it takes two to three days before a supermarket, uh, the shelves go dry, go clean, because people wipe the shelves out after a major you know, uh, crisis of whatever kind, really. And the fact of the matter is this. I actually have a friend, pretty good friend of ours, that used to work at Costco. And during the health crisis era or time when it first started, she told me that, I asked her, I was like, how long will it take for the shelves to completely get empty over here? And she said, hours, not days. She said, literally hours, the shelves would be completely empty. And granted, Costco is a membership supermarket type, like a big box store supermarket. It's a membership, which means that not the entire local population has access to the store. And um, because you have to pay for a membership and not everyone wants to do that. So even in that case, a Costco would be empty, according to her. And she was like a management in, in that Costco there, the one here in Fairbanks. She said that within hours, it would be stripped clean if there was a major crisis where everyone wanted to come in and stock up. So even those people that have the preparedness mindset may still think that, hey, we have two or three days. Let's go ahead and uh, do something else first. Well, the best thing that you can do is to make sure that you're already prepared and that you're only filling in the gaps. That way, while everyone else is panic buying, you can be doing other things that maybe you didn't think of in the past. Well, I wanted to share with you a couple of questions that I actually asked ChatGPT. And ChatGPT, for those of you that don't know, is a 
artificial intelligence bot that you can ask any question to. And then what it does is it scours the entirety of the internet to give you the best answer that it could come up with. Now, let me go ahead and share this with you because I thought it was pretty interesting that it actually agrees with the mindset of the everyday prepper. And uh, here at first, this is what we're going to be giving away today. We're going to be giving away five of these units. These are from Simpure. And let me remind you all, ladies and gentlemen, Simpure is still having their 35% off sale. I don't see that they're going to do this again anytime soon. And this is the first and only time that I've ever seen them give a 35% off sale. So if you do not have a water filtration system, like a reverse osmosis water filtration system, which is what the 35% is for, everything else, like something like this, it would be 20% off. But any RO system in their inventory, 35% off. And if you don't have a water filtration system at home, I don't know why, especially now that they are so inexpensive. You can get one from Simpure for as little as $91. And for those of you that don't know about our O, because some people don't know, even though I preach it all the time, we have new people all the time. Our O simply takes everything that's bad out of your water and leaves you as close to as pure water as it can through a filtration system. The, the more pure water than our O water is going to be water that you distilled. Right, that you um uh, that you pretty much brought up to temperature and captured the vapor and turned that back into liquid pure H2O. But RO is probably the best that there is without having to distill, and it is going to protect your family and you from drinking water that maybe a municipality tells you it's okay to drink, but years later you find out was tainted with forever chemicals, as they're telling us now, or lead or etc put in whatever you want to put in that's bad in water, it could be in there, right? So I believe that every family in the United States should have an RO system under their sink, right? However, instead of giving away one RO system, I decided to ask Simpure to allow me to give away five of these systems because this is better than nothing. And this system right here, believe it or not, is really nice. It filters down all the way to 0.1 micron. Now, for those of you that don't know what a micron is, the thickness of an average human hair is like, I think it's like 50, 40, or 50 micron. Well, this thing will filter down to 0.1, one-tenth of one micron. The average size of a, of a bacteria is about one micron. And this thing will filter down to about one-tenth the size of the average bacteria. That's this little unit right here. And the reason that I brought this up is because if you are on a budget, this is something that you can get that you can easily maintain and be sure that what you're drinking is clean. Anyways, I'm not going to go on and on and on and on. Most of you that are here know that I'm very passionate about people having clean drinking water because usually whenever you find out that your water is tainted, it's usually too late. Usually something bad's going on and that's why you're finding out that you don't feel well is because you've been drinking bad water for the last X number of years. So I'm going to give away five of these. Well, Simpure is going to give away five of these today. All right. And we're going to do that from anyone that's here in the chats. All right. So that's why I have this here. And let's see. Uh, and again, let me go ahead and talk about Nutrient Survival. Nutrient Survival is having a payday prep Friday. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, they're going to offer a payday prep deal. And uh, if you get any bundle of three number 10 cans or pantry packs, you get the uh, tin for free. All right. And also, you can use my code AP10 to get 10% off that bundle as well and still get the tin can for free or the, the retro bread box is what they call it, I think, here. All right. The retro bread tin. Uh, and uh, for those of you that don't know about Nutrient Survival, ladies and gentlemen, I can say it in my sleep. It is the very best freeze-dried food that there is in the market, period. Not only because it tastes good, but because it has all the nutrients that you need in order for you to strive instead of just survive. And just take a look for yourself. Don't believe me in telling you. Go ahead and match the price of Nutrient Survival against any of your big brand you know, freeze-dried foods. Go ahead and take a look at the nutrition against any freeze-dried food, any at all in the market, and you'll see that this food is superior in more than one ways. So if you're looking for freeze-dried food, go check out Nutrient Survival. Use my link and my code for 10% off. You get a bundle of three. You get the uh, tin box for free. 
that was the other thing we need to talk about before we got to this right here. And that's going to be our chat GPT question. So check this out. Also, Eric was on Black Scout Survival's live stream. Oh, that's awesome. Yep, I like Black Scout Survival. I've been subscribed to him forever. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me take a look at a qu quick question real quick. Uh, will a water filter take out chemicals from a hack? I do not know what a hack is, Linda. If you can reiterate or if anyone can answer that question, please do so. I do not know what a hack is. However, a reverse osmosis water filtration system, like I talked about, pretty much takes everything out, right? And that little filter that I just showed you, the six liter bag uh, gravity fed filtration system, that thing goes all the way down to 0.1 micron, okay? So you can't beat that for that price. Oh, there you go. Mario made a Faraday cage with a little uh, tin bread box, the retro tin bread box. Uh, let me see. Flappin, if you're talking, how do you sign up for that giveaway for here in this live stream of those filtration systems? You don't have to sign up. Here later on within the live, I'm going to give you a code word that you tap into the comments. And then I'm going to have a robot pick, randomly pick anyone that has that code word in the comments. So don't worry about signing up. Just be here in the live stream. And uh, maybe it'll be your lucky day, okay? Yes, and anyone that does go to the Nutrient Survival site, make sure you use AP10. That's going to give you 10% off. Let's see, let's see. Okay, I'm coming down fast. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, let's see. Uh, SR says, Central Kansas Chilling Old Air Force Base water is tainted with chems from the base cleaners for, yeah, from the triple foam probably. Yeah, fluffy, fluffy foam is what I used to call it when I was in the military. Uh, it could be. I mean, and the thing is about water cleanliness, ladies and gentlemen, is that it's so inexpensive to get a good filtration system. It's so inexpensive that there is no excuse for you not to have one. I mean, right now you can go out there and get a reverse osmosis under the sink legacy water filtration system with, with none of the bells and whistles. It's just a regular standard filtration system that cleans your water for like 91 bucks. I mean, that's like 30 bottles of water at the gas station, 91 bucks. And I would, I would guess that that one set of filter that it comes with originally will last you for years. Because those filters that it comes with, uh, already equipped with, those are 75-gallon-a-day filters, meaning that they're good for 75 gallons per day for a year. Who uses 75 gallons a day of drinking and cooking water? I don't know anyone that does, which that tells me that your filters will last you a very long time before you have to replace them. And to replace the filters, they're very inexpensive to replace as well. Okay, okay, bringing it down some. Let me check real quick. Okay, we're down. Uh, Texas Jan, how you doing? Welcome. Uh, Tina Mack, how are you? So I went to chat GPT today, and I asked it a couple of questions. And the first one is, what are the first things that will disappear during panic buying? And the answer was, during a panic buying event, essential items such as canned goods, rice, pasta, Bottled water, toilet paper, and cleaning supplies tend to disappear first from grocery store shelves. These are items that people perceive as necessary for survival or comfort during uncertain times. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is very good news because I would venture to guess that anyone here in this chat that is within the preparedness mindset probably already has all of these things. These are the basic things that we've been talking about for years that we have to prepare, that we have to put in our pantry, that we have to stock deep. That way we have them when we need them. So if you have all of these things, that's great news. So when I read this answer, I was like, wow, that's really good news. Because I bet you that most of the people that, that are, are part of our community here already have all of this stuff. So now you can go and concentrate on other stuff. Like one of the things I didn't see them mention here was medical supplies. 
right? So medical supplies is another thing that you want to make sure that you have a whole bunch of. There's nothing wrong with still having some face coverings, some masks. You may need some of those, not necessarily because of the reason they made us wear them or asked us to wear them harshly here a few years back. But let's say, for example, that you're treating an injury and you really want to keep your spit particles away from that injury so that it doesn't get infected. That's a very good reason to have face coverings or masks, right? So these are the things that you want to think about getting now. You know, usually around this time every year, I'll do a video. Usually when I get my fuel delivered, right, I'll do a video saying you need to start preparing for winter now. There's still snow in the ground where I'm at, right? It's the middle of April already, and there's still snow on the ground. And there'll probably still be snow on the ground for the next month or so. But I'm already thinking about getting prepared for next winter. Why, ladies and gentlemen? Because why wait? Why not get prepped right now for next winter? That way, if something happens between now and then, I'll already have everything I need for next winter. So think about the things that you need right now. Get them, stock them as deep as you can for your own personal uh, circumstances, all right? And then go out there and start getting ready for something else, something different. So medical supplies, et cetera, et cetera. And so I thought that was a great question because I'm like, man, that's good. It's what we're always preaching that we should do, right? And then I asked it another question. Uh, and I think this is the one about how long. Let's see. So on this one, I asked, how fast will grocery store shelves be empty if we get into a world war? Chad GPT answered, the speed at which grocery store shelves empty during a world war would depend on various factors, such as the severity of the conflict, the country's level of preparedness, logistics capabilities, and the availability of alternative food sources. Uh, in extreme cases, if supply chains are disrupted or resources are redirected for military purposes, Shelves could empty within days or even hours in highly populated areas. And I'll tell you what, there is so much in that little paragraph right there that they wrote there. Like, for example, uh, depends on the severity of the situation. How severe is this situation for you in your country if we went into a world war? You know, like in the Middle East, it's probably a lot more severe than what it would be here. But eventually it would come here as well. No one would be left out of shortages and of rationing should we enter into a world war. So again, I say, why wait until that happens and not do it right now? And as we've often stated, in populated areas, things are not going to go as well or things will go much worse than in areas that have a lower density in their population. So if you're in a concrete jungle or like a big city, you may want to think about relocating. And you also may want to think if you can't relocate, because not everyone can, you may want to think about maybe having somewhere else to go where you can actually produce instead of consume. Let me see real quick. And what I mean about producing instead of consuming, ladies and gentlemen, is that big cities, by nature, they consume. They don't really produce anything of value or anything that would bring value to life. Like, let's take a look at New York City. Let's take a look at San Francisco. Let's take a look at L.A. Let's take a look at uh, Chicago, right, in Chicago, Illinois. Let's take a look at all of these really big cities that are really populated, what do they produce that brings value to life? The only one that I may think about that produces like food, maybe San Francisco, where maybe they have uh, places nearby that produce food that they can, you know, bring to the city center easily. But in Chicago, Illinois, do they really have any farms right there near the city? And if something happened that blocked that city off, how are they going to get their food? If the lights went out, how are they going to get their water? How are they going to get their food? How are they going to have someone to protect them? It's going to be a lot easier for you to protect your family, to feed your family, to get water for your family if you're away from a place that is so congested that there are nearly not enough resources to provide them anything for like a day or two if everything stops. I, I think I read somewhere that in New York City, there's only like five days uh, worth of food 
if food stopped going in automatically. But this is what you have to understand, ladies and gentlemen. There may be five days worth of food in New York City right now. But let's say you lived in New York City and you knew that the food stopped coming in and that there was only five days left. Would you be like, oh, okay, no big deal. We still got five days. No, everybody would be cleaning out every shelf that there is. So there may be five days of food left, but not everyone will have five days of food because panic buying will ensue and the food will run out quickly for those that didn't stock up. And then guess what happens when people get desperate? They do desperate things. And usually those things are not good. Uh, let's see. Oh, did we just have an ad? Sorry about that. That's just the name of the game. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, yeah, Army Vet Trump girl, hello. And yes, big cities will be death zones, un unfortunately. And I think that uh, during a major catastrophe, they would probably block people from leaving the cities. That's just what I think. And look at this. Sean in Alaska, what's up, brother? It's good to see you, man. Good to see you, my man. How you doing? Good to see you. Uh, Sean in Alaska says, Alaska has four days of grocery supplies on hand at any time, including groceries. And I have to believe it. I believe it. Uh, and people think that people are always saying, oh, you're in Alaska. That's a great place to be, uh, you know, if, if the SHTF, right? But really it's not because if the SHTF in the lower 48 occurs, right, uh, we get like 95%, if not more, of our stuff from the lower 48. Okay, so so no, it wouldn't be that great of a place to be. I mean, maybe we would be away from like violence and stuff like that if that's what was happening. But still, we import almost everything that we consume. Uh, so we would have to learn how to live on moose, <laughs> right? Caribou, in a small game, things like that. Uh, I, I think that we are in a better place as far as being able to hunt for our sustenance because we have so much uh, coastline and we have so much wild game in, in comparison to the amount of people that we have in this state, right? And especially us that are here in the, called the interior, which is like the upper half. Uh, there's a lot less people in the upper half of Alaska than there are in the lower half, okay? So uh, that's, that's also an advantage, but still it wouldn't be very easy. Oh, let's see. Um, uh, High Desert Homestead says, I have bought powdered cocoa. Just I would have my. Oh, you got. Yeah, and you know, cocoa is going up in price pretty good, too. Uh, let's see. Bob from accounting. How you doing, Bob from accounting? I had to cash in some crypto to buy the Mega 3 during the flash sale because it was on Thursday <laughs> and I get paid on Friday. Flash sales always. On a non-payday. Uh, yeah, I guess so. But, hey, good thing that you got your me uh, uh, Ops Mega 3. And, uh, again, there's going to be another sale like in late May, early June time frame. So if uh, you can't wait, you can always get them now because they're still on sale now. But they'll be on sale later on. All right. But, hey, you're going to really like the Mega 3. I just uh, cleaned off. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, on top of my chicken coop, I have four solar panels. I have four 200-watt solar panels. And uh, finally, the snow melted off of them. I had left them there over the winter because I wanted to see if they would survive. I wanted to see if they would be damaged because of the cold and the snow and the ice. So I left them up there undisturbed with whatever snow and ice built up on them. And finally the rest of the ice that was built up on them melted off. So I went up there and I I um, brushed them off with a broom. They're still pretty dusty, so they're not as efficient as they should be. Uh, but as soon as my water hose thaws off, right, I'm going to go ahead and fill up my my 55-gallon uh, drum up there with water, and I'm going to go up there and rinse them off. And that will really bring up their efficiency. Uh, if you don't have solar panels, let me tell you, 
uh, when they're dusty, it brings down the efficiency a lot. And once you rinse them off, man, it's like night and day. It just brings up the efficiency really fast. But yeah, I finally dusted them off and I hooked them up. And right now inside the house, I'm running both my freezers and my big refrigerator just off of those solar panels out there. I got a couple other solar panels from Opus over here next to the bunker. And I've got them wired into my Opus 2400 that I've got outside my bunker. And that's actually powering my bunker. So all of the electricity that I'm using right now is being powered by the sun through the Opus solar panels. Don't just buy a solar generator and just leave it lay around and, and put it in a corner and just use it for whenever the lights go out or whatever. Use it, ladies and gentlemen. Use it. That way you know that it works. Use it so that you can save a couple of bucks of your electricity. Uh, the summertime, believe it or not, is when I save the most money off electricity because it's when I have the least things running and it's when I have the most solar that I can use to supplement the things that I run on a regular basis, like my refrigerator, my freezers, and the lights here in the bunker. So, so make sure that you use these things at least to save a couple of bucks during the sunny weather or the sunny months of the year. And, uh, and it just gives you a warm and fuzzy inside that, hey, these things do work. They do what they're supposed to do. And also, if something happens to it, like a manufacturer malfunction happens to it within three years after you're getting it, it's covered by warranty. And you can at least replace it if something goes wrong on it. But you'll never know if you don't use it. Well, let's see. Uh, yep, the rule of threes, right, Frank? Frank Military says you can live without uh, without air for three minutes, without water for three days, uh, three weeks without shelter, and three months without food. All righty. Let's see, looking, looking down. There's PNW Prepper. How you doing? All right, let's see. Becky Williams, how you doing? Good to see you. Surviving Behind Liberal Lines is in the house. How you doing? Good to see you. Patriot Girl, how you doing? Good to see you today. Happy Friday. Butterfly, how you doing today? Uh, let's see. We have another new. Condesa Oakley, how are you? Welcome. Welcome, Condesa, to the live stream, ladies and gentlemen. She is new. Welcome. And for those of you that are wondering, the little chicks that were hatched from my chicken flock are doing very well. They are doing really good. So I'm really happy that they survived. Uh, Grint Grace says or asks, is the UV filter on the reverse osmosis system necessary? I personally don't think that it is. However, it's just another layer of protection. So if it offers it and you have a place under your sink where you can plug something in, like let's say you have a dishwasher. Usually there's a plug under the sink for your dishwasher if you have one. Or if you have a um, uh, a garbage disposal under, the, under your sink, there's usually a plug in there for it, you know, like an AC plug. Uh, you can just go ahead and plug it into that. But to tell you the truth, I have an RO system under my old kitchen that has a UV uh, light in it, and I haven't had it plugged in for years. And my my TDS, my total dissolved solids, are still under 10. So uh, I guess for an extra layer of protection, it's great to have. But I personally don't think that it's a necessity to have. North of the 52nd, how you doing? Good to see you. Okay, let's see. Well, what time is it? Man, we're at 40 minutes. I think that maybe we can do... Let, let me um uh, go ahead. <laughs> Let's see. Let me go ahead and... Um, uh, <laughs> let me... Uh, 
get the information that I need and open up the page. I forgot to open up the page for the random generator for the Opus 100 watt solar panel. All right, so let me go ahead and open up that page so that uh, we can do that giveaway. Let's do that one first so I don't forget because that one's an easy one for me to forget. So never mind me for now. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, look for it. Talks amongst yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. This is going to be on not this video. Okay, yeah, not this one. Actually, it is this one right here. Boom. Boom. There it is. Okay, cool. I just needed to get the link for that. Okay, here we go. Um, random generator. Let me see. Add comment, replies, filter. Oh, no. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just a second. I got to pick a different one. My subscription to the one that I usually use is uh, it ran over. So it's not going to allow me to filter by uh, by number. Yeah, I apologize. Actually, you know what? Okay, you know what we're going to do? All right. We're going to do this the easy way here. All right, here we go. Boom. Paste. Uh, okay. Filter duplicate users. Very good. Now I got to solve a uh, math problem. <laughs> okay. All right. It's filtering the comments. Awesome. All right. We've got 211 comments. All right. So here we are. Right there. Okay. Cool. All right. Where are we at? Where am I? Here we go. Okay, so anyways, it says, so Poppy did a good job. My Rue didn't get the job done, says Amanda. <laughs> I incubated 36 eggs and not a single one had even an ounce. Really? That's too bad. That's really too bad. Yeah, well, we have Big Red and Poppy, and I do believe that Poppy is the daddy of both of the chicks. And the reason is, is because one of them is a pure blondie, I mean, I don't know how the genetics works, right? Especially with chickens and roosters. But one of them is a pure blondie. And the other one is a brownie that looks like a brownie blondie mix. So that one is so, so pretty. I hope that those are both uh, chickens and not roosters. Because if they turn out to be roosters, I already told my wife and my daughter not to get attached to them. Because if they turn out to be roosters and not egg laying chickens, they're going to end up in the pot. Because, you know, we're not running a charity here, ladies and gentlemen. I promised uh, that Poppy would be retired, meaning that uh, whether, even though he's not the alpha anymore, that I would not put him in the pot. I promised that to the people that I got him from. And plus, I already named him Poppy, all right, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, for my father. Uh, so I'm not going to do anything to him. I'm going to let him live out his life and let him be a rooster, right? And Big Red, I'm not going to do anything to him because, you know, Big Red transferred over from being a hen to Big Red. So I don't want to get canceled, you know, for picking on Big Red for being a transgender uh, rooster, that is. Uh, so any one of these, if they end up being roosters, then they're going to end up in the pot. So it just is what it is. Fact of life, right? Uh, Mary, hey, how you doing, Mary? Haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you. Call me over at, at Marfugo. Yep, Marfugo is awesome. We had a great interview, so go check it out if you haven't checked it out. I've yet to see it. <laughs> I've just been too busy. Man, isn't that a great deal? I mean, north of the 52nd, you can't beat that deal. Uh, an Opus 2400, which is um, uh, 
735 bucks after my discount. Man, 30 cents per watt. Incredible. I mean, that is such a great deal. You remember the days when when solar generators used to sell for like a buck 50, two bucks per watt or watt hour? Ridiculous. And now look at this, 30 cents per watt. And the 2400 is actually what I'm using right now to power the bunker. So obviously it works. Uh, running fast. How you doing? Good to see you. Thank you for being here. Uh, let's see. Uh, so what type of underwear is recommended for a nuke attack? One that doesn't stain. All right. <laughs> So one that doesn't stain or that can get stains off easily. Okay, let's bring it on. Okay, let's see. You know what, Mario? That Exodus 600, all right, uh, Opus is coming out with a really small solar generator. It's called an Exodus 600. It's the tiniest thing that you ever seen, but it is a little power bank. You know, it's a it, it packs a lot of power. It can actually run a regular size uh, refrigerator. All right, and it's I think two hundred and seventy something watt hours or something like that. It's tiny. It's like eight pounds. And when I saw the price on that thing, I was like, man, that is a great price. If you have not entered the uh, giveaway that Opus is having. Take a look at the description of my videos. If it's, I think it's on this video still on this live stream. If not, you can go back to yesterday's video or the day before, and it'll be on those videos on a pinned comment or the description. I have a link to a YouTube video from Opus, which is the entry video for an Opus Exodus 600, which doesn't come out until the 22nd. Now, today is the last day that you can enter over there. All you have to do is go to that video, use my link to go to the video, and then subscribe to their channel, to the Opus channel, and then leave a comment under that video that pretty much says, this is how I'm going to use my Exodus 600. I'm going to use it to recharge my batteries. I'm going to use it to recharge my flashlights. Whatever it is, just leave a short comment on how you're going to use it. They are giving away 20 to zero Exodus 600s. And all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on how you're going to use it. And they're giving away 20. So the chances that some of you here from the AP community will win is probably a pretty good chance. So go check it out. But if you're interested in that, go to their site, to the Opus site, and uh, go ahead and register with them. And you'll get an additional 10% off by registering with them early now before it actually comes out on the 22nd. So you get an extra 10% off off of the, the low price. I mean, I couldn't believe the price is like, I think it's like 120 bucks or something like that. It's like 70% off the regular price. And uh, this is probably going to be the only time they're going to be able to get it at that price, but it's going to be on sale like that for like a whole month. So it'll be on sale like that from like the 22nd of April, I believe, all the way through like the 22nd of May. But it's going to be a great price. At the minimum, go over there and enter to win. You might get lucky. Uh, let's see. Um, Mike, Mike Canyon, Canyon, Canyon Tone. Mike Canyon Tone. I guess I just say it. Um, the code Alaska Prepper doesn't work for the Mega 3. I want to go check that right now. Give me a second. Let's see. I'm looking at it here. Boom. All right. Let's see. Remove this. Okay. Man, these computers drive me nuts, to tell you the truth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. I'm checking it for you live. We're going to do this live.
Uh, yeah, it just worked for me. Alaska Prepper. Let's see. Um, uh, yeah, I just tried it, and it works for me. Alaska Prepper. Oh, you know why it doesn't work for you, Mike? Because you misspelled Alaska. <laughs> the reason it doesn't work for you is because you misspelled Alaska. Try L-A-L-A-S-K-A, -A -A, Alaska Prepper. Because I just tried it, and it works with that. It happens, man. It happens. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give away the solar panel from Opus to those that uh, left a comment on that video that I specifically talked about. And let me go ahead and leave this right here. This email is not an entry email. So don't send me an email to this email address, one winner winner chicken dinner two at gmail.com, telling me that you want to enter to win. This is the email that you, the lucky winner, will use to send me your information so that I can forward to Opus and then they will send you the 100 watt solar panel. Right. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, get that now. Let me remove this. Let me go ahead and uh, share screen. Okay. And we have 211 unique comments. On, uh, let me see, where am I at? Boom. We have 211 unique comments for that video, and it's the video where I told you that I made a big mistake. Now, normally with this comment picker, uh, I would be able to put in a number like 64 is the number I'm looking for, which is the correct number that I was looking for. Uh, as far as the mistake that I made, all right? If you watch the video, you'll know what I mean if you read the comment, all right? So I'm just going to go ahead and pick one, and if it has the 64 in, in their comment, it's like 64,500, I think. If it has that in their comment, then they win, all right? Because I can't have this pick it for me. But let me go ahead and do this. Nine. Let me do this again just to make sure. Okay, still 211. Let's start. All right, let's see. Okay, this one doesn't win. And look at this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is so funny. Uh, Mr. Tom would have won. <laughs> it says Deep South Bomber 56. Oh, maybe this is not Mr. Tom. But if it's Mr. Tom, it would have won. Uh, but uh, he got an Opes 1800 and a 240-watt solar panel yesterday for his birthday. All right, so... Anyways, we're going to go ahead and pick another one. And we're going to keep going until we get that 64 number in there. Okay. No. Come on. I see some 64s in there. Nope. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. You would have won. Nope. Oh, my goodness. It was right on a pin common, too, what you needed to do. And I see some here that are right, but it's not picking them. Nope. We're going to keep doing it until we get someone that wins. Nope. The USA borrows 53. Nope, it wasn't 53,000. I even put it on the comment. This is the most I've ever had to click to get some to get a winner. There it is. Yep, 64,000. That's close enough. Mario. Mario actually wins. Mario, you just won. Congratulations, buddy. And I actually answered your question that that Opus solar panel would be um, uh, compatible with pretty much any generator, solar generator that you have. So let me go ahead and uh, take a snip of this. New. And let me save it. Boom, boom. All right, congratulations, Mario. You are the winner. Boom. 
And now, do you all want to do the giveaway for the uh, water filtration systems? That's going to be this one right here. Boom, boom. And I'm going to show you all the word. Where are you going? All right, preset. And we're going to give away five of these water filtration systems. Where are you at? Boom, right there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be right there, clean water in all caps. And you only need to enter it once. Clean water in all caps. In all caps. And that's going to enter you to win that gravity-fed six-liter bag water filtration system from Simpure. Now, Mario, go ahead and send me your information to the address down below. I'm pretty sure I've mailed you something in the past, but send me your information so that I can make sure to pass that on to uh, Opus so that they can mail you that solar panel. Congratulations again. I'm really happy that you won. And for this water filtration system from Simpure, I'm going to need you to send me your information as well. For Simpure, they require your phone number because they've had problems with shipping and they've needed to call people and not have their phone number. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't sell your information. And as far as I know, neither do they. They just take it and use it to ship you whatever it is they're going to ship you. And that's it. Okay. So if you have a problem with providing your name, your address, or whatever address it is that you need to ship to and a phone number, then it won't work out. But I truly do hope that those of you that win the five units that I'm going to be handing out here today, that you really need one. And if uh, you need something bigger than this, like an RO system, they still have a sale going on. So go ahead and take advantage of that 35% off sale. And uh, let's see. Let's just go ahead and give it about another. Oh, look at that. We have 248 entries. That's good. Let's give it a little bit of time. It says Simpure. Somebody says something about Simpure and FedEx. Simpure must be using FedEx. I think it is, but I'm not sure north of the 52nd. And, of course, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. I should have said this before. This is for the continental United States and Alaska, and I believe they'll even ship to Hawaii. But it's within the United States, and it does not they won't ship outside the borders of the U.S. So I do apologize uh, if someone has clean water in here and you live outside the borders of the U.S., they won't ship out there. Okay? So this is for people inside the United States. Uh, clean water, yes, everything looks good. Let me do a little QA check. Let me do a QA check, make sure that everyone has clean water in all caps with a space in between the clean and the water. Like right here, California Dreamer. Go ahead and redo that and put it in all caps, okay? I'm going to wait about another minute or two before I do this because I like to give everyone that wants to enter a good chance to win, right? And the odds are not terrible when we're giving away five of them. And, of course, if you win one and your name comes up again, Mr. Tom, then uh, we'll go ahead and pick another one, all right? I think that having clean water is extremely important. Here you go, 3NA. Make sure that uh, you go ahead and put that all in caps and make it look like this. That's what it's supposed to look like, all right, 3NA? Make it look like this. That's the right way if you want to be entered. All right, let's bring it on down and see. Okay, good. All capitals. Yep. Mario, it would be kind of cool if you won again, wouldn't it? That'd be a, a double whammy. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see where we're up to. Hey, we're up to 305. That's good. So let's go ahead and do our first one. Let me see. Where did I put this first one up here? Boom, boom. There's Mario. We'll do 16 next. Okay. We'll start on 16. All right. Let's do our first one. This is for the for the uh, six-liter bag filtration system from Simpure. And the winner is... 
Ali wins. Ali for the win. Congratulations, Ali. That is awesome. I'm, I'm happy that you won. So let's go ahead and do this one right here. And let's put boom, Ali. Awesome. So that's one. Excuse me for a second. Every time that someone wins, I have to catalog the win just to make sure. Okay, very good. Ali wins the Simpure. Awesome. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and do the other winners. Let's make sure that... Uh, okay, congratulations, Ali. Everyone's saying congrats. All right, let's do another one. Let's draw again. And here is our next winner, and it's going to be, who's it going to be? Flapping Wings. Congratulations. You just won one of the filtration systems. Flapping Wings. Remember, send me your information to the email address down below. I do not do anything with your information except to pass it forward to the company so that they can send you the stuff in the mail. And it's not going to cost you anything either. Uh, they take care of the shipping and everything. Okay, so there, boom. This one is going to be flapping wings. Let me just make sure that I got the name right. Flapping wings, yep. And it's going to be simpure. Awesome. And that's two. We've got three more to go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're going to draw again. We're up to 322 entries. That's good. And our next winner is going to be, who's it going to be? Linda. <laughs> Linda Bob, today was your lucky day. <laughs> oh, Linda, what I tell you? Today, one day it was going to be your lucky day, and today's it. Linda's told me in the past, I never win anything. I've never won anything. I was like, well, you never know. Today may be your lucky day, and indeed it is. I am very happy for you, Linda Bob. <laughs> right now, you're probably in shock. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. This Doing this kind of stuff is a lot of fun, let me tell you that. So let's go and put Linda's name here. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you what. The sooner that you send me your information, the sooner that you'll get that in the mail. And I'm not going to send the information to Simpure until I have everyone's name and information uh, that wins today in one pot. That way I can send an email to my rep with all five winners in one shot. I don't like sending one in here and one there. No. When all five send me your information, I will go ahead and send it to them. So I'm hoping that right now, every one of you that have won something, the four of you that have won something, Mario and the three water filtration system thus far are on your computer already emailing me that information, All right? So let's go ahead and pick one more winner. We've got one more after this, one more winner after this one here. And who's our next one? Storm weather for the win, the fourth one so far. So we've got one more to give away after this. Congratulations to you, storm weather. Good stuff, isn't it? <laughs> I, I'm still, I'm still, uh, I'm still full of joy over Linda Bop. <laughs> storm weather. All right, congratulations, storm weather. And then now here is going to be our last one. And here we go. This is our last winner. And I want to say thank you very much to Simpure for providing these units for us to give away. Uh, Bill Feger or Bill Feger, however you pronounce it, one or the other, right? Bill Feger, congratulations, my friend. You just won the last of the filtration system units that Simpure has given us to give away. So make sure you send me your information. Same thing as what I just said to the other four. One, one chicken dinner. One, 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 no, one. Winner, winner, chicken dinner at gmail.com. No, one winner, winner, chicken dinner, two at gmail.com. Goodness gracious. I uh, say uh, Bill Ferger or Feger. Oh, 
Okay, now let me just make sure that we actually have all our winners here. So we got Mario, we've got Ali, Bill Feger, Flapping Wings, Linda Bop, and Stormweather, all for the win. Well, well, congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. And I just want to tell you something real quick, because I saw this on a comment here. Uh, I think it was the last video. Someone says, oh, AP, you're a salesman. Ladies and gentlemen, when I talk about these products that I bring to you, like Simpure, like Opus, like uh, Contingency Medical, I just affiliated with Jace Medical because they have different stuff in Contingency Medical, Nutrient Survival, right? When I uh, Hybrid Lights, when I talk to you about these things, the reason that I sound excited about them when I talk to you about them is because I am. It's because I'm not going to bring you something that I think is a dud, but I want to make a buck. That is not worth it. If it's not up to my standard, and I can't say that I'm a professional in everything, but I think I can, I've reviewed enough flashlights over the years to say, hey, this is a really good flashlight. Where is it? Is it anywhere near here? The hybrid lights flashlight series, their lights are extremely good flashlights. They're very rugged. They have awesome batteries that keep a charge for seven years, right? They're not the brightest in the world, but who needs 10,000 lumen, right? No one needs 10,000 lumen. They need a flashlight that's reliable, that's going to keep a charge, that if you drop it, like the one that you saw me throw up in the air as high as I could uh, two times and it still worked afterwards, that if you drop it, that it's going to work. That's what we need as far as preparedness goes. You want to go get the fancy ones that cost 300 bucks? By all means, go get that stuff, right? Because it's your money. But if I talk to you about a certain product and I seem excited about it, it's not really excited for the sale. It's excited because I am excited for the product. Because I bring you stuff that I really like, that I trust, that I think is good quality, that I think gives you the best bang for your buck, right? So I don't ever want you to think that I'm just throwing something out here just to try to get you to buy something so that you can buy something. I turn away probably dozens of, uh, what do you call that? When people, solicitations, that's what it is. I, I go ahead and put in the trash bin probably dozens of solicitations every single day because I'm not going to talk about something that I'm not passionate about, that I don't think we ought to be prepping, and something that I don't think is the best bang for your buck. Now, every once in a while, I'll probably review something out of the ordinary. Like uh, here in the future, I'm probably going to be reviewing another e-bike. But the reason that I review stuff like that is because I like to think outside the box. And like, for example, it's very nice if you can have an e-bike for a grid down situation, maybe that lasts a while. And let's say you have to haul stuff and you just can't afford the gas or get the gas or the car just don't work for whatever the reason may be. I think an e-bike would make the perfect mule. And I've never heard of anyone talk about using an e-bike or a bicycle in general as a mule, meaning as something that you can use to carry stuff and to carry a heavy load. And the way that I came up with that idea was it's not my original idea. It's what they did during the Vietnam War. It's how the North Vietnamese transferred or transported a lot, if not most of their equipment through the Ho Chi Minh Trail, was using bicycles. So a bicycle company, an e-bike company says, AAP, would you like to review this e-bike for us? And I'm like, well, what good would an e-bike do during a grid down besides just for transportation? I'm like, man, you can use it for a mule. You can use it to carry water from half a mile away or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Anyways, the point is this, is that you're never going to see me talking about something that I'm not passionate about, that I don't think is a great product at a great price, just so that I can have a sale. I would never do that. There's just no point in doing so, because all you have to do is do it once and your credibility goes out the window. So it's just not worth it. And I wouldn't do that either way. Uh, so let's see. Uh... Okay, what's going on? There's a delay. Alaska Prepper, read the comment about Ali. Okay, can someone go ahead and uh, put the comment about Ali all the way in the bottom right now? I know there's like a 20 second delay, but go ahead and put the comment about Ali all the way in the bottom right now. It doesn't matter who does it. Put it all in caps. That way I know. Okay, because I still have the giveaway tool open. 
ok I hope that I'm still on the air it says here maybe we should all tell him tell me what come on ladies and gentlemen tell me oh Ali I'm so sorry Ali is in the UK Ah, uh, Ali, I was so happy for you too. Okay, Ali's in the UK. Ali, I'll tell you what, uh, this is probably not going to be as much, but I know that, that Copernicus or Miss Worm received this after I shipped it to her. Ali, go ahead and send me your address, your name and your address, and I'm going to go ahead and ship you one of my uh, 2024 series Alaska Prepper Coins. All right. They're right here. Let me see. I'll show it to you. I'm not sure if you've seen them yet. I, I know that I've given a few of these away in the past, but uh, let me go ahead and show them to you. And this is what it looks like. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Uh, maybe not. Anyways, that's the uh, 2024 series Alaska Prepper Coin. That's the front. And uh, here is the uh, the back of it. So go ahead and send me your information, Ali, and I'll go ahead and send you one of these coins. It'll come in a little brown envelope that looks like this, okay? Uh, it may take a while to get there, but I will send it to you as soon as I get your information. So let's go ahead and pick someone else. I apologize for that, Ali. I'm sorry about that. That stinks. All right, well, let's see. Let's uh, bring it back. Boom. Who's it going to be? Terry is the winner. Terry, please let us know that you are from within the United States of America. All right. So congratulations, Terry. I'm assuming that you are. Let me go ahead and catalog you then. So congratulations. And uh, I'm really so sorry, Ali. That really stinks. But again, send me your information, Ali, and I'll go ahead and send you a coin. Uh, that's the very least that I can do. And congratulations, Terry. Ali's misfortune is your fortune. All right. Please don't tell me that Terry does not live in the U.S., okay? <laughs> Where are we at? Well, we're an hour and 13 minutes. Okay, everyone's saying congrats. If I was president, ladies and gentlemen, one of the things that I would do is, I don't believe in this, but since this financial system is going to collapse anyways, we might as well might as well get what we can out of it while we can. I don't believe in just giving stuff out, but I would say every household in the United States of America will have a reverse osmosis water filtration system. That's it. Instead of sending all of these hundreds of billions, if not close to a trillion dollars, cumulatively speaking, to all of these places around the world, uh, one of my very small acts would be to make sure that every home had an RO system and a backup generator, amongst a whole bunch of other things. But uh, Let's go ahead and put that to rest. Uh, let me see if I've got it up here. The X, it's right there. Come on, guy. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Are you serious? Where's the Exodus uh, drawing video? It is in the YTU and anyone else. It is in the description of this live stream. It says, I'm going to read it to you verbatim. It says, Opus YouTube video for entry to win an Exodus 600. And then it has the link. Uh, it should be, uh, let me see. Boom. Let me go over here real quick. Let me make sure it is under this one right here because that's on my last one. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to be one, two, three, four. It's going to be like the fourth uh, paragraph down or the fourth line down. It is under the description of this video. Just look for it. It's there. And then all you have to do is go to that video link, subscribe, leave a comment on how you would use your Exodus if you won. And they're giving away 20 of them. And the giveaways, the winners will be announced on the 20th of April. So tomorrow. So today is the last day that you have a chance to go in there and enter to win. And remember that today is the very last day that Simpure has that 35% off code. Okay. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Linda Vaughn says she nearly Peter Pines. 
It's funny, ladies and gentlemen, because Linda, I think that Linda even sent me an email saying thank you, but I never win anything. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, I'm so sorry about that, Ali, but I hope that you heard me, that you go ahead and send me your information so that I can send you a coin, okay? Oh, you see, that's what I like to hear, Grintish. Thank you so much for that. Grintish says, thank you for getting us that 35% off. Uh, I was able to afford an RO system today for my payday prep. That is awesome. Thank you for letting me know. That is awesome. Good for you. Good for you. And for if for some reason it looks complicated for you to put, for you to install, it's not. They have a very easy video to follow on their on their site uh, that shows you step by step how to install the system. It's a lot easier to follow than the video that I did for installing the Q3 RO system they sent me. Uh, Sandy says, I bought an OPS yes, last night. That's awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure that when you receive your OPS in the mail, make sure you take it out. Make sure that you use it. Uh, first, you have to charge it to full because they never ship it full, all right, because of the shipping company's request. Uh, charge it to full. Uh, make sure that you use it. Use it for the first month, like every day. Make sure everything on it works the way it's supposed to work. Uh, through all of the time that I've been promoting OPS, I think I've had like two people email me and say, hey, there was a problem with my, maybe three, three people. Uh, but one of them was user error. So out of the three, uh, one of them was user error and we figured out what it was and it wasn't a problem with the machine. It was just a problem of, of how he was hooking up his, uh, his solar panels. But two people had a legitimate issue. One of them was is that the Opus fan always ran. It was always running. And uh, it's not supposed to always be on running, okay? So immediately he contacted them. I told them, contact them right away, tell them what's wrong. And immediately they sent him a shipping label. And at the same time, they shipped him a new one. And he got it in no time, all right? Uh, the other one, I forgot what the problem was with the other one, but it was a legitimate issue where they needed to send it back, all right? Opus is just like any other company. They have their, their uh, quality assurance teams and stuff like that. But every once in a while, something might get by. That's just not up to par. And it's just it just happens, all right? Uh, but make sure that you use it. That way you know how to use it and you know that it's working well, all right? And don't let it stay in one in a corner somewhere just collecting dust. Use it every once in a while or just make it part of your everyday life. Remember that that battery has a 3,500 uh, charge discharge cycles. That's almost 10 years if you charge and discharge the battery every single day, okay? So it's not like you're going to wear it out, you know, in a month. <laughs> oh, is my discount code misspelled in the description? Isn't that something? Let me take a look real quick. Where is it? Uh, that's for the Opus, right? Let's see. Oh, my goodness. I am a terrible host. I just fixed it. Man, that's probably misspelled in all of my descriptions of all of my videos. You know that? Let me take a quick look at another one. Here I'm doing some laundry work back here. Yep, it sure is. I got to go back and fix all of them. Yeah. Thank you for letting me know that. I'm going to go back and fix all of them, uh, Copernicus. Thank you for that. Incredible. Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? You know what that means? That means that I'm not a robot like some people think I am. <laughs> uh, I don't think that there's such a thing as artificial intelligence for me because where's the intelligence coming from? <laughs> I think someone was saying something about that. And, and it's kind of scary because I have been uh, solicited uh, to just allow AI to do this channel. I was like, I'm not going to do that. I mean, why would I do that? I, I don't know why people would, but I just I can't do it. Okay, awesome. All right, thank you for that, for letting me know that. <laughs> Gracious48 says, APDs ain't talking to. 
James McNally, you're 100 percent right. You are 100 percent right. Actually, you know, I've got some glasses right here, but man, I just hate wearing glasses. I just do. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and Mario's like, no wonder none of your discounts were working. <laughs> hey, you know, I told him to give me a simple discount code, like Nutrient Survival, AP10, right? That's simple. But, man, Alaska, Alaska Prepper with no space in between? Come on, man. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You have seen me. <laughs> Say hello to the wife, by the way. Okay. I think we're going to call it good. Wow, we're an hour and 20 minutes in. All right. Hey, Todd, what's up, Todd? It's good to see you, man. Yeah, Todd's an OG over here. Good to see you, brother. Very nice to see you here. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and call it good for the day then. This this was, I think this was a fun live stream. What do you all think? Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, do a quick safety brief. And I'm just going to put it at don't drink and drive. Have a great time out there, ladies and gentlemen. If you're going to drink, have a good time. Party it up. Just don't drive. Right? Get a designated driver. Uh, call an Uber or get a cab. Whatever it is, just don't walk if you have to. Just don't drive. Don't ruin your life for a couple of minutes worth of fun that you won't even remember, right? Uh, Ali, remember to go ahead and send me your information so I can send you that coin. Everyone that won, congratulations to all of you. Please send me your information ASAP. I like nothing more than to be able to get that information out as soon as possible so that you can get your prize as soon as possible. All right. Uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for all of your support. As always, if you are new to the chat, or if you are a new subscriber within like the last couple of weeks or so uh, during our outro, type in I am new in all caps so that we can shout you out and so that uh, we can welcome you into our community during the outro. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, have a great weekend. I don't have anything planned to be putting up for tomorrow, but on Sunday, as always, I will be putting out uh, my bi-weekly news compilation video, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, God bless every one of you. God bless America. And this is the part where I have to look for the outro right here. I'm Alaska Prepper and I'm out. God bless you all. Thank you.